on a lot of responsibility when they decide to become a dog owner, but sometimes it's unclear who would be responsible if a dog were to attack someone. Fox 31 Sean Stryker has the answer. No matter how well a person trains their dog, it'll always remain an animal. And when a dog attacks, many people wonder, is it the victim or the dog owner held responsible? If the owner has this dog and the owner leash and has him under voice command, and someone just comes over there taking a the risk, petting the dog, then the owner's not at fault. The same goes for the dog if it's secured on the owner's property. But if the dog happens to get loose, that's a different story. They can be walking their dog and they do not have him under voice command. So the dog runs off, then they will be held liable. Experts say if you see a dog you're not familiar with, it's best to not approach it. And no matter who's responsible for the bite, the incident will always be reported to environmental health. And the reason for the bites being reported to us is so we can actually um, begin to put together information about the animal, um, do what we call rabies surveillance. Now if it's determined the dog has its rabies shots, it will be released to its owner. If not, it needs to be monitored. So what we try to do is put it into quarantine so we can basically observe it for 10 days. If the dog makes it through those 10 days, it is given a rabies shot and hand it back over to its owner. Sean Stryker, Fox 31 News.